right to help them. And I went back and looked at it, and from the very first year that we started this, uh, our next guest has been with us. Uh, it must have been the year that we met, uh, but he has, uh, he has graced our program and has encouraged more music than anyone shy of, of, of Cole Porter out of, <laughs> out of John Pizzarelli. And uh, he is the wonderful Hugh Jackman who joins us on the screen. Everybody say a nice Detroit hello to Hugh. Hello, hey guys. Happy anniversary, 10th anniversary, congrats. 10, ten years, uh, and I, I really appreciate you doing this, Hugh, because I know we're pulling you out of rehearsal for The Music Man. You're probably like, are, are, is that where you actually are? No, I'm literally after this in the car on the way there, so oh, good. it's okay. Oh, good, oh, good, all right. Well, uh, how is that going? I had I a chance. It. I, I had love a you, Mitch. I love Detroit, but I'm not quitting rehearsal. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually had a chance to see you a few weeks back when I was in New York, and you, uh, just the most amazing thing, Kenny and John, I, I just, Hugh pops out of rehearsal, and he's got like a half hour to have a cup of coffee, and, I, and I'm like really conscious of like sneaking down, making sure nobody sees him. We go into this coffee shop, and I say, oh, good, there's a corner table over there. And I said, we could just go sit over there. And he says, no, let's go sit outside in the park. <laughs> and I said, do you want to go sit outside in the park? He said, yeah, nobody will bother us. And, uh, you know, uh, nobody really did bother well, us. You were very nice. We did have your, we had your security detail with us. Which I felt <laughs> yeah, fine. yeah, my security detail. <laughs> that consists of uh, what? Do my my briefcase that I throw at people <laughs> if anyone gets away. How, how is the uh, music man going? It's fantastic. We, we're in the theater. It's uh, we're in the Winter Garden Theater, which, if anyone knows Broadway, is you know Barbara Streisand and Funny Girl or uh, Ethel Merman in Mame. It's just one of those Cats. great classic uh, Cats. theaters, and we actually have I think twelve days. I think uh, don't you like that? I think in twelve days and ten hours we have our first preview. Yeah. Twelve days, ten hours, five brilliantly. minutes, and sixteen seconds. Yeah, you go on. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Whatever. Whenever. Sometime. Yeah. Um, and it, it's going so great. And there's just such an amazing energy right now on Broadway as shows are coming back and people are, are coming back and that feeling of we, we're sort of entering out after, you know, the dark last couple of years and it's really exciting. Yeah. Well, you've benefited in, in a small way from the, uh, from the pandemic in that they were about to open that show when the pandemic struck and they had your billboard and your name up there on the theater, and it's now been sitting there for the last two years in a vacant theater. It's just Hugh Jackman and the Music Man for like two years. You could just walk up and down and say, there I am, there I am, but you didn't have to do anything. It's true, I ran into someone the other day and said, dude, I'm coming to your show. I said, thanks, he goes, and I bought tickets two and a half years ago. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking at me like, am I coming to your show? Is this yeah. really happening? Yeah. So now yeah, no, tell, every, tell so everybody in our audience um how you know people are saying how do you know hugh jackman well you actually lived down the street from me when you came to film real steel back when we had the film incentives here in michigan that's how we met right 2010 and you lived maybe i don't know eight houses down the end of the street and it was just one of those great neighborhoods where the day we turned up there was a tray of cookies outside you know welcome to the neighborhood and we became friends with people in town and you were one of them and i remember you invited us up we went over for brunch to your place yeah and i believe i got to your house before you'd gone yeah. back i don't know what you were doing you were doing so so you had the newspaper there i was sitting on your front porch reading a newspaper probably yeah. reading your article yeah in the newspaper. yeah i remember driving up with my wife in the car and you were sitting on my porch reading the newspaper and i had one of the great <laughs> comeback quick lines of all time i said well, there's something you don't see every day. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Jackman on your porch reading your newspaper. And, what was uh, strange, and then Mitch, was that the newspaper was open to your article. That, yeah. I thought that was just a odd coincidence. Yeah, we have that <laughs> laid out on the porch all the time, yeah. Uh, and then of course, I, I got to take you, I think we went, uh, we went to, what, is it a football game or a baseball game? Football yeah. game? Yeah, we went to we went to see the Lions. Oh. I think it was yeah. Lions Jets. So, was it, or, or was it a pre-game? I can't remember yeah. pre-season game. Oh, yeah, okay. And they play the same. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Downtown to see some of the work you guys were doing. Yeah, we went to the amazing. church. Yeah, I, yeah, I church. took you to the church, the, uh, the My Brother's Keeper Church, and all they just started screaming, Wolverine, Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if they knew who you were, but they knew Wolverine. They did all that. That's all. That's all they need to know. Well, you've always been. Uh, you've always been so uh, caring about Detroit ever since uh, you even came mm. you were here not too long ago when you were doing your one-man show and you went down to our 
uh, water ice store and popcorn store in downtown Detroit, unbeknownst to me, and took yeah. a picture of yourself in front of it and posted <laughs> it to your 10 million viewers everywhere. That was really kind. Yeah, I, I, I actually love Detroit. My whole family still talk about that summer we had there. And I, I, I have dragged my kids around to a lot of places because I was lucky enough to be able to choose at one point in my career when I shot. So I would only shoot during the summer so that my kids could come with me. And they always said that Detroit summer was the best summer. And I, oh, it really was. It was. It felt immediately within a week like we were at home. The people, I just felt, I, I love the crew. I love the city. It reminded me of Australia in some way. That sort of, you know, you're going to get it straight, honest, no airs, no graces, just, you know, just good people, you know. And, and I always felt that connection. So I'm thrilled to be able to help in any way I can. Well, you've helped us enormously just by being on and literally every 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 one of the 10 that we have had you have been a guest on now as you know we have a tradition here of trying to create little songs for you and it occurred to john pizzarelli and i that uh before we knew the whole music man thing we did a music man song for you uh which john is going to reprise just a couple of verses to remind you and then we've created a new one uh, uh based on the fact that you're in it but this was the one if we could bring john up and everything Johnny, you good? Yeah, okay. There were stars on the screen, but they were just the average showmen. They were not the greatest at all, till there was Hugh. Yes, remember, we recorded that one. That one came out in uh, 2016, Big I think. Hit. It sold, it went to number four on the charts, number I think. Number four, rocketed yeah. up. Rocketed up the charts. And, um, and appreciated before I had even decided to do the show. Yes, Very, who knew? Interesting, who knew? I forgot that. Yeah, but yeah. now, now that we know you're in The Music Man, uh, we worked on this, and by the way, the fact that we work on it at all, other than just it's making it up, on the, it's already a big deal. Uh, but we worked on this I in a couple... I it a great compliment. Yes, yeah, so a couple commercial breaks now. This is, this is raw. This is the first time we're going to try this, but okay. Uh, this is from The Music Man as well. Let's see if we can get this right. <clears throat> Because I know that the, the part that you're playing, he does a lot of, like, mm, talking, singing kind of things, you know? Like, uh, so yeah. it was early rap. <laughs> White rap. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Is there a tall shadow coming over the bridge? Do you find traces of Wolverine hair inside your fridge? Do you hear the rumble of actors' lines when everyone's gone? And are certain words creeping into your conversation? Words like Australia. And I'm Jean Valjean. Well, if so, my friends. Oh, we got, got Chapman. Right, right here in Motor City. With an H, H that, that rhymes with H that, H that starts off Hugh. Yes, we got Jackman. And, and he's sitting, sitting pretty. pretty. With a Broadway gig, gig in New York City, City too. too. Yes, we got Jackman. Oh, we love Jackman. Say Detroit cannot do it without you. We got Jackman, he's no hackman. If we sing well, he'll give back men with an H. That, that rhymes, rhymes with H. That starts off you. Yeah. That's so great. I think that's I think that's one of the great musical theater lyrics of all time. <laughs> H. The rhymes with H. Yeah. Well, we spent about an hour trying to rhyme something with H, and then we realized nothing <laughs> rhymes with H. Yes. So it's H that rhymes with H. That starts off you. Oh, so, that's so our good. gift to you. Uh, I, I will have an extra spring in my step as I sing Trouble today. Okay. All right. Well, oh, we, we, we got trouble. <laughs> we got, yeah. are, you, are you getting that whole uh, thing down there with all those lyrics? That's a lot of words to learn. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, listen, I have had some time. There's no excuses. Yeah. No yeah you have had two years <laughs> to learn the words. Time, but. Yeah. Well, can, no, can I'm, you I'm, can, I'm, can you give us a couple lines from it just to see how you're coming along? Oh yeah. Well, friends, either you're closing your eyes to a situation you don't wish to acknowledge, or you're not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here is he trouble, right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a billiard player, certainly mighty proud to say I'm always mighty proud to say it. I consider that the hours I spend with the cue in my hand are golden. They help to cultivate horse sense and a cool head and a keen eye. Did you ever take and try and give an ironclad leap to yourself from a three-reel billiard shot? <laughs> but just as I say, it takes judgment, brains, and maturity to score in a bulk line game. They'll never get never get the microphone out of my hand once I start. Start. <laughs> I can go on and on. Good job. Yeah. Wow. So, what, you got 12 days to get the rest of that down? 
That's it. All right. All right. <laughs> what could go wrong? Yeah, what, what could possibly go wrong in 12 days? Uh, well, that's our gift to you. I, I hope we were able to sh shake loose a couple of cackles there from, uh, from uh, your charitable giving. I don't know what that's worth to you. You know, uh, J John and I usually get a couple bucks yeah. uh, for doing it. So, well, mostly coins, actually. <laughs> yeah. Mostly small coins, actually. Uh, and sometimes no coins. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to pay in Australian dollars. But I'm kidding. No, I, I will pay. I, I, honestly, uh, I will contribute as I always have happily, Deb and I, we love what you do. We love the city and love the way the community always comes together in Detroit. And it's a great example that we should all live by all over the country, all over the world. Thank you, Hugh. Well, we appreciate that. You've given us a lot of money and a lot of help. And most importantly, you've given us your time yeah. in the past. So thank you for that. Really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate your taking time in a busy day. And I know your car is waiting to go to your rehearsal. So good luck. We'll see you in it music, is. man. Give yeah, my love to Janine, love to you, Mitch, John, thanks, I loved it, and uh, to everyone in Detroit, love Best you guys. Best to Sutton Foster. All right, take care, <laughs> bye-bye. Hugh you Jackson bet. here. I'll pass that on. Here, here. All right. As we continue here on 760 WJR, 855-955-GIVE, the phone numbers, uh, and